I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies and today we want to talk about kids compound bows um, and in this we're going to look at all the different compound bows um, but before I do that I want to first look at this one this is the PSE guide um, now this is plastic limbs plastic riser plastic cams this is not a bow I'm going to consider because I don't consider this to be a compound bow it is a compound bow but not a serious kids compound bow so for my son if when my son was growing up this is not a bow I'd consider so this is about which bows you consider if you're into archery and you want your kid to get into archery and you don't want a toy now this is obviously not a toy but it's not going to be a competitive bow you're not going to shoot competitively with this this is just something for your backyard you know retail price on this 150 140 odd dollars but plastic 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 we want to talk about real compound bows and i want to compare them all we're going to run them through different weights different arrow speeds build qualities and price and then write them up on the board behind so you can actually see sort of how we're tracking so we're not comparing the cheap ones so the bows i want to compare today first one is the pc mini burner um pc mini burner Retail price in Australia is about $360. The draw length is adjustable from 11 to 28 inches by rotating module here and changing string position. So you can change the string position here and the cable setting on the back here to, adju to adjust draw length. Um, all these bows that we've got set up today are going to be on 21 inches draw length and set at, sorry, 21 inch draw length and 20 pounds. So that's basically simulating a bow for about a 10 year old child. So 10, nine year old. So these bows are all going to be set up the same. So 360, it's 11 to 28 inches in draw length. So 28 is a little bit shorter than me. Um, 11 is tiny. Um, as you shorten the draw length from this bow, the poundage also drops off. Um, but it's got a lot of adjustment. It's, it's got the compression limbs, which you see standard on PSE. So a lot of tension on the limbs. So basically this is still quite tight. Now this bow comes in 30 pounds, 40 pounds and 50 pounds. And as you shorten the draw length, you reduce the poundage. But basically I say you get about 20 pounds worth of weight adjustment out of each bow um, through adjusting the string and cable positions and the um, limb position here. So a 40 pound bow, I get down to about 11. So that's for an average kid. Now this is the... Um, diamond edge bow a lot of people regard this as a kid's bow now I don't regard this as a kid's bow but I'm going to put in the mix because people do regard this as a kid's bow because it is adjustable right down to 15 pounds and the draw length is adjustable on this from 13 to 31 inches in draw length so you think it's got a big draw length adjustment which it does and it's got a big poundage adjustment here you can see the limbs wind way out but what you've done is basically you've reduced the tension on your limbs here. So yes, it is it is very adjustable. So I shoot about 55 pounds. So this bow will wind up to a poundage way beyond what I shoot. Um, but is this bow a bow which you'd consider for a 10 year old sort of child? Price point on this bow about $600 from 13 to 31 inches and 15 to 70 pounds. Uh, that's a cast riser fiberglass limbs, which is basically the same as the PC cast riser fiberglass compression limbs and big cams, metal cams. These are all metal. This is the Mission Menace 2. So this has got a machine riser. It's the only bow in the kids range which has a machine riser. So machine riser is going to be stronger. It's got your standard fiberglass limbs, metal cams, rota um, draw length adjustment through draw length adjustment. Like all the other kids' bows, when you adjust the draw length, you also adjust the poundage. So shortening this one in draw length also reduces the poundage. Uh, this bow roughly sells for about $450. Um, draw length is from 17 to 30. And poundage is from 15 to 55 pounds. The last one in the set is the Hoyt Ruckus Jr. Uh, cast riser, bridge riser, fiberglass limbs. Bit of, bit of compression on the limbs and metal cams. Now this bow is the cheapest of all of them, $330 roughly, um, 15 to 27 inches and 9 to 29 pounds. So it doesn't have the bigger 
big weight range that some of the others do, but it's still aimed right at that 10 year old market. Um, these are the accessories which come on it. This isn't the site because we replaced the site because the site was broken. But the accessories are pretty basic. So, you know, but it looks like a nice little kit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare the weight on each one of these with the, with the scale. Um, because I find for kids, especially little ones, you don't want a bow which is very heavy. Because it's very heavy, they'll sort of drop their arm and that's not what you want for a kid's bow. So this is the mini burner. So that's the mini burner, that's three pounds. So mini burner is three pounds in mass weight. That should theoretically be the lightest of all the bows. Um, and that's set up with a side and a whisker biscuit. A diamond Infotech. Is 4.6 pounds. Now 4.6 pounds, I find that too heavy for a kid. It's more of a ladies adult bow. This is the Menace. Three point two, and the last one is the Hoyt Ruckus Junior. which is 3.6 pounds. Now in the overall scheme of when you're trying to choose a bow, what you've got to do is you've got to balance up everything, which one's best value for money, um, which bow do you prefer? So I think the easiest way to do this is we'll give a point system. So I'm gonna do this in red pen. Um, Diamond Edge is the most expensive. So we're gonna rate this, um, we're just going to go up in points, so we're going to rate this as a four, as a one, as being most expensive. And then we go two for the Mission Menace, um, and the Mini Burner. The Mini Burner and the Ruckus are very, very similar in price. The Ruckus does come with a basic quiver and a basic side and arrow but I actually don't think that they're worth much money. So, there's only $30 difference there in price. But you do get more poundage with the more poundage with the mini burner, more draw length adjustment with the mini burner, and the bow's a lighter weight. So I think for thirty dollars, I and compression limbs on the mini burner, I think they're about the sort of same thing. And I think the mini burner is probably a better value. So even though the mini burner is three sixty, a little bit more expensive, I'm, I think it's better value than the ruckus. So I'm actually going to go three and four. So the draw length adjustment, now for me with a kid's bow, 31 inches, you know, that's if you're seven foot tall, you know, six, six, six and a half foot tall. So you don't want that in a kid's bow. If you're six foot tall, you don't want these little, little kid's bows. So for me, I'm not interested in a bow that big. Most kids will be between, let's say 15 for a seven year old to you know, 28 are going to last you for a tool, you know, to someone who's my size, an average male. So I'm looking for a kid's bow, which is going to range somewhere in draw length from 15 to 28. So the mini burner does that. The ruckus does that, but it doesn't go to 28. So I think that's a little bit down, but it's still in that range because the ruckus only goes to 29 pounds, 29 pounds. So as the kid's growing, then the draw length is going to become too short anyway. Diamond Edge is wonderful. It meets that criteria and so does the Menace. So for me, all these bows except for the Ruckus, I'm going to rate as a 4. And I'm going to rate the Ruckus as a 3. Because I think they all do it and I'm happy with that. Now weight adjustment. They all have a massive weight adjustment, but I think... The thing which is critical for me is when you, like with this 
with the edge here, as you wind this down, you're basically sacrificing performance because the bow becomes basically spongy to shoot. It's not the case with the it's not the case with the menace because you've got the compression limbs, but you don't get as much poundage adjustment with these limbs because of the compression limbs. So you're getting your poundage adjustment through the cams. So for me, the poundage adjustment, even though they're all all have poundage adjustment, this is the hardest one to make the poundage adjustment. You need a bow press. You need to take it into an archery shop. So for me, if I wanted a bow for my for my kids and I wanted a bow which was a performance bow, this would be a bow I'd be looking at. But if I was in the country, not near an archery shop, I probably wouldn't be as interested in this even though the other specs are really high. So for me, poundage adjustment, I like a bow to go to 40 for kids because I've found I've sold some bows to kids who are 20 pounds they start with and they've been shooting for three months and suddenly they're on 40 pounds. So. For me, the ruckus is probably a bit under, under strength, so I'm going to say that's least desirable. So we're going to go on one with that. The edge, the menace, I think of, you don't need the 70 pounds, so I think that's a kind of a negative because you're not going to need it. So the, the thing is you're always going to have to back the edge down for kids to use this. So you're going to lose performance, I think, and we're going to see that in the speed test. So I'm actually, I like the Menace. I do like the Mini Burner. I'm going to rate these two the same because I think the, the PSE is a higher performance kids bow. And if you can get it set up, then the kid's going to shoot better with it. So I'm going to rate these two the same. I'm going to rate the Menace a four. And I'm going to rate this a four. And the the edged because it's a 70 pound max which you're never going to need with a 10 year old i'm going to rate this a three there's still thing now the weights that's really simple the pse is the lightest so that's the lightest kids buy on the market so that gets a four after that the mission menace gets a three the hoyt gets a two and the diamond edge gets a one so after we've finished this, and this is about shooting the bows, seeing how they feel, we're just going to tally up the points. We have the PSE on a 16. Um, so I rated that pretty high. The Ruckus I rated pretty well. So it got a 6 plus, so that's a 9. The Diamond Edge is 7, 8, 9. The Mission Menace, 6, 10, 13. So I think the Mini Burner is better value just from looking at it as a bow. Um, I think the Menace is very, very close behind and it does have a machine riser. So it's not a bad little bow, but now we're going to go and shoot these. So we're going to compare the draw cycle of all these bows, the shock when you shoot the bow, and then we're going to run them through a speed machine to see how they all rate. Um, so I'll just compare. Okay, so the ruckus to draw back is very smooth and it comes to a very solid stop at the end. So I find this bow very, very comfortable. The menace. It's got a pretty good valley. It's got a very solid stop, but to me, you'd want to pull this hard against the stop, which kids may not do, because otherwise I'm going to get too much movement in the cam, because the valley kind of starts there and it rocks in. So I actually think the ruckus feels better to draw. Now to me the, you can see the cams, the draw cycle is nice, it's solid all the way through. To me it feels heavier, but then I'm getting, I'm getting more movement in the cam at full draw. So these cams are rocking. So I actually think that, I think the Menace is better than that one. Now this is the mini burner, solid, 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 get to the end, it's nice. Now the rocking, gets a little bit, to me it feels better overall. Now is it better than the ruckus? It 
So it's, to me, it's more solid than Infotech. I think the Hoyt is actually better in the draw cycle than the Mini Burner. I think the reason for that, the Mint, the Hoyt has got this longer draw stop, longer valley here, the longer, the module's got a more distinctive valley. So I'm actually gonna rate that higher. To me, the mini burner feels a little bit more solid in the drawer. So I'm gonna rate that the Hoyt first. I'm gonna rate the Hoyt first in the draw cycle. Then I'm gonna rate the mini burner second. The Menace third. And the Edge one. So now we're gonna shoot all four of these bows and see how they shoot. Um, and we're gonna shoot them on the shooting range. And then see which one shoots better, which one shoots better groups. Okay, so we're on the shooting range. We've got the um, diamond edge. And we're gonna do a shooting test with it. I'm shooting little kids arrows. So this bow set on, and all these bows are gonna be set on 15 pounds at 21 inches. So, this, so they're too short for me. But we're just going to bend, bend the front arm. I'm shooting little Madonian XR arrows, target arrows. Something similar to what you'd um, have a child shoot. These are quite expensive, but still be, you want a nice light arrow because the lighter the arrow, the faster the bow's going to shoot. So we're just going to shoot this. This is about 10 meters, which is ideal for kids. And we're going to shoot at the left target. Um, shoot a few arrows and sort of see where they go. So the draw cycle. It's nice and smooth the whole way. I can't really feel the valley. So as I draw it back at this point here, I can't feel the bow get easier. So it's smooth the entire way through. So with a normal compound, it builds up and then it drops off into a valley. I can't feel the valley with this bow, but it's very smooth the entire way. So I'm gonna draw this back. I'm gonna take the shot. So the shock aspect of this bow, when you shoot the bow, there's no shock with it. It's nice and smooth, nice and smooth to draw. It's a nice bow to shoot. I'm just gonna shoot three arrows so you can kind of see where they group. Now we'll just zoom up on the target. Spin it around. Point ruckus. Now it comes with a finger finger savers here, so you can't shoot it with a release aid. So if you want to shoot with a release aid, you've got to cut these finger savers off. If you had a D loop, then shoot a release aid with it. So I'm just going to shoot this one with fingers. So you draw it back, it's smooth the whole way. You really can't feel the valley. There is a valley there, but it's very smooth. Now, as you, it's not quite as slack as the Menace because this bow is a 29 pound bow. Um, so wound down to 15. There's still a bit of compression on these limbs. So you see these limbs have still got a bit of flex on them. So it puts more tension on the strings and cables. So the draw cycle, this bow will shoot faster than the edge at 15 pounds. Uh, then the Menace at 15 pounds. The, there's no shock with the bow when you shoot it. Um, I'm sort of lock, locking, I'm locking this finger into my cheek here to give me, give myself a consistent anchor. I, I feel the arrows don't fly as well, obviously because I'm releasing with fingers, but also the arrow rest doesn't help.
Now I shot four arrows that time, just because it's a thing. They're kind of in a group like that, so bigger than a dinner plate, and we're shooting 10 meters. Um, there's no arrows grouped close together like you'd get with a release aid. The bow to me feels nicer to shoot than the other two, than the Menace and the Diamond Edge but I'm not getting the same results and that's RRS, not a release aid. Um, it's probably to me, it feels, it feels as fast as the edge, but it feels faster than the, than the mission map, than the mission menace. So leaves us with the last one, which is the mini burner to shoot. So we're gonna shoot the mini burner now and so see how that shoots. So I found this bow shoots quite nice but my grouping wasn't as good with this as it was with the other two bows. I mean, not even close. Um, so for me, yeah, quite a nice bow. The weight of it is 3.6, so it's the second heaviest of the three of them. Um, and the weight could be an issue for kids. But for me, the issue with this bow was poundage because it goes up to 29 pounds and a lot of kids will outgrow the 29 pound mark. So about a nice bow to shoot for a young kid the draw stops are also very solid with this so it actually feels quite nice to shoot so we're now going to shoot the pse mini burner um, the mini burner's got compression limbs here so i'd expect this one to be significantly faster than the others um, also as you go to draw this bow back you can see basically there's a lot of tension on the string straight off where the other ones don't have that and that's because of the comp uh, compression on the limbs so we're just going to shoot this one. Now one point about this bow, this is the uh, PSE RTS kit. This peep sight don't like, so get rid of it. It's not a, it's not a good thing. And the reason it's not a good thing is as you draw this back, it doesn't get to enough angle and these strings get in the way. So if you fit a, um, a normal elastic peep to it, much, much better. So the draw cycle is smooth, builds up the whole way. You get back, there's a valley there, but it's not a huge valley, like. I mean, it's nice to shoot, there's no shock. To me, it feels fast as the other ones, but we'll run it through the speed test and sort of check that out. It feels faster than the other bows, but we'll see. I haven't sighed these bows in, so you'll see the arrows are up high and to the right. Last arrow. Now the grouping on the mini burner, I don't know, I'll just zoom in so you can see that if I zoom the right way. You'll see three arrows touching. So all those three arrows at 10 meters are touching. So to me the shootability of the bow to me, I'm getting more speed out of the bow. The bow's the lightest of all the bows. It's got compression limbs, so you're talking compression on these strings and cables. So the accuracy is improved. And you know, it's not me going, oh, I'm shooting better with this, because obviously it's still a short draw length, still 15 pounds. 10 meters, I've seen heaps of kids shoot these bows. And at 10, 15, 20, 40 meters, kids shoot fine with them. And it's not bagging the other bows, because I'm not doing that. Just this is a bow specifically built for a 10 year old kid, 10, 11 year old kid, eight year old kid. As a result, they get high performance out of it. It's not a bow that goes, oh yeah, this will last them when they're 18. That's not what this bow's about. This is about having high performance um, bow that shoots really, really well for a child. 
or a lady it's just a nice shooting bow the grip's nice and we'll run them through speed machines now and sort of check what the speeds are thanks bye So after I shot the four bows, I want to compare them. I'm going to say the mini burn is the best because I shot three arrows all touching. The fourth arrow bounced out, but I think it was pretty close. I mean, it's on the video. So I'm going to say the mini burner was the best shooting bow in how it actually shot. So I'm going to rate that a four. After that, I really liked the Hoyt, the way the Hoyt felt, but I didn't get the results of the Hoyt. And I, that's because it's not shooting release aid and the arrow rest is bad but I like the way that shot. I like the weight of the, I really like the way the edge shot, but the weight of the bow, so for me, I like the edge to shoot. But for kids, when I'm thinking about a child, I think the edge is too heavy. So even though I think it shoots better, the weight of the bow, I'm gonna rate it down, because I think for kids, it's not as good to shoot. Um, so I think the other three bows, the Menace, I think, is a bit sloppy at the start when it's wound down in poundage to 15 pounds. So for me, for a 15 pound bow, I think it's a bit sloppy at the start, but it shot fine. So I'm a bit mixed with this. I'm going to rate the edge down because I've just the physical weight, I think it's going to be too heavy for a kid. So I'm going to rate the edge of one for a kid's bow. The Hoyt and the, the, Hoyt and the Menace, I do like the way the Hoyt shot, and I'm going to rate that higher than the Menace, because this is just on shootability and how the bow felt. So I think the Hoyt felt good, but on the Hoyt I'd prefer better arrow rest, and obviously if you shot a release aid out of it, it's going to shoot better. Um, and I think the draw stop on the Hoyt's very solid, so I'm going to give it to the Hoyt. I'm going to give Hoyt 3, and I'm going to give the Menace a 2. So now we're going to go and shoot out speed machines and just check that to make sure yeah, what I think's fast is fast, um, and see how it tallies overall about which is the best bow of the kids' compounds. And the kids' compound I'm missing out here, which is a big seller, is the Bear Apprentice. And the reason that is not in this review is because the Bear Apprentice has been is not in the lineup for 2016 for Bear. Bear is replaced with the Bear Cruiser Light, and the Bear Cruiser Light is not out yet, so I haven't included that in this review. So. Yep, we're going to shoot this out now. The Hoyt Ruckus through a speed machine. See, machine little medallion arrows. Set it, this bow set on 15 pounds at 20 inches. It shot 111 feet per second. So we're going to grab the next bow now and shoot that. So one, one, one. We're shooting the diamond edge now. So the last, sorry, the Hoyt last one shot 117. I didn't see the little stroke at the top because this thing was too far down. So we're going to shoot this one through. 129 feet per second. So we've got the Mission Menace 2. Um, shooting through the speed machine. And that was 117 also, so same speed as the Hoyt. Um, the Menace, so with the Menace, because you've got a lot more poundage adjustment, I would be suggesting the Menace is better than the Hoyt. Um, and the issue with the edge I just found was the weight. So we're going to shoot a lot mini burner and see what that gets. Thanks. So this is the mini burner. Um, so the Hoyt, Hoyt, Ruckus Junior shot 117, the Mission Menace shot 117, and the Edge um, shot 127. And I was quite surprised by that, so I checked the scales again to make sure it was 15 pounds, and it was. It's got a good draw cycle, and I think it builds up quite well, so quite a bit of speed out of that bow. So this is the mini burner, and we're going to check the speed out of this one. 125 feet per second, so two feet per second slower than the Diamond Edge. Um, so very, very similar in speed, but the bow is significantly lighter. It's also about half the price. Not quite half the price, but towards that sort of price point. So to me, this is the better bow out of all three of them because the weight um, is the lightest of them. It's got more adjustments. 
it puts more tension on the springs and strings and cables than the others so it's going to shoot better than the other bows and for a 10 year old um, or a lady this bow's lighter and it's fast it's fast it's got adjustment it's cheaper and the accuracy i found was better than the other two and that's because of the compression limbs putting more tension on the strings and cables so that's my review of the kids bows on the market right now i might have missed some i've avoided all the plastic ones so hopefully it's helped you in deciding what's a good kids bow but i'm going to review on the mini burner um, shortly to tell you how to make adjustments on this um, and how we make adjustments on it to give you a huge adjustment in draw length and poundage So if you are looking to mini better check out our review for that. So I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Enjoy your shooting. Thank you. Bye